What if I told you an interstellar object just sent a signal aimed directly at Earth, and NASA doesn't know what it means yet? Uh, stick around, because what happens next could change humanity forever and will blow your mind. Right now, something extraordinary is happening in our solar system, something no human being has ever witnessed before. In the early hours of October 17, 2025, deep in the California desert, NASA's Deep Space Network picked up a signal, not noise, not static, you know. If you're captivated by the mystery of 3 Eye Atlas and want to see more mind-bending cosmic stories, smash that like button and let the universe know you are watching. Every click helps keep the search for the unknown alive. But a structured, repeating electromagnetic pulse coming from the mysterious interstellar traveler known as 3 Eye Atlas the same object that's been puzzling scientists since it first entered our solar system. The signal lasted exactly 11.3 seconds each cycle, repeating with clockwork precision every 47 minutes, and here's where it gets truly spine-chilling, during just five hours of observation, the signal strength increased by over 300%, as if something inside that hollow object was awakening charging up, preparing for what comes next. You know, NASA engineers ruled out instrument malfunction. SETI specialists ruled out natural causes. What they were hearing wasn't chaos, it was communication, a coherent broadcast from something that might not be a comet at all. And then three days later, everything changed because the signal didn't just continue. It evolved, it became directional, and According to trajectory analysis, it was pointing directly at Earth. Stay tuned, because what happens next will redefine what we think we know about the universe itself. You know, when NASA's Deep Space Network first locked onto the signal from 3 Eye Atlas, scientists thought it might be a fluke, maybe background interference, a stray echo from a satellite, or cosmic static. But then they analyzed the frequency, and that changed everything. You know, the transmission was coming through uh, at 1.42 gigahertz. The exact frequency emitted by uh, hydrogen, the most common element in the universe, astronomers call it the water hole, a quiet band in the cosmic spectrum where any intelligent civilization would likely send a message. Why? Because hydrogen is universal, every species that studies the stars would recognize its signature. In other words, whoever sent this signal wanted it to be understood. You know, but this wasn't just a simple tone. Within the repeating 11.3 second cycle were layers of structure, nested patterns that seemed to carry encoded information. Imagine Morse code, but infinitely more advanced operating across multiple time scales, sub-patterns repeated every 1.7 seconds, and inside those faster modulations flickered every fraction of a second as if a hidden message was buried within. NASA's analysts called in cryptographers, radio engineers, even artificial intelligence researchers to decode it and after cross-checking every natural source known to science, pulsars, magnars, quasars, solar interference, the conclusion they reached sent shockwaves through the agency. The probability that this signal is artificial exceeds 99.7%. That's when panic began to ripple quietly through NASA's control rooms because if this signal isn't random, if it's not nature, then something out there is deliberately speaking to us, you know? And just when scientists uh, thought they could begin to understand it, 3 Eye Atlas did something no one expected. It changed the message. Three days after the first detection, the pattern that had scientists glued to their monitors suddenly shifted. On the night of October 20th, just after 11.15 p.m. Eastern Time, the transmission from 3 Eye Atlas morphed no longer a steady pulse echoing through space, but a focused intentional burst for 8 minutes and 24 seconds. 
the signal narrowed, collapsing from a wide cosmic broadcast into a precise directed beam, data from the Arecibo Legacy Observatory in Puerto Rico, reactivated in a frenzy for this emergency, confirmed the impossible. That beam wasn't drifting aimlessly through the void. It was locked on to Earth. Uh, natural radio missions don't do that. They scatter. They radiate in all directions, like ripples on a pond. But what NASA was seeing looked engineered. Something capable of focusing electromagnetic energy across astronomical distances with surgical accuracy. That kind of control requires technology humanity has only mastered in recent decades. And this object came from beyond the stars. You know, engineers ran the numbers over and over again. The alignment wasn't coincidence. The orientation of 3i Atlas, the vector of the beam, and Earth's position in space, they all match perfectly. Something or someone had aimed at us on purpose. And here's the part that keeps NASA's scientists awake at night. The timing. The signal shifted just nine days before 3i Atlas was set to swing behind the sun, completely hidden from our observation, almost as if it was saying, watch carefully before I disappear. You know, was it a greeting, a warning, or a countdown? No one at NASA had the answer. But one thing was certain, whatever is inside that interstellar traveler just made its first move. You know, by dawn on uh, October 21st, the atmosphere inside NASA had shifted from curiosity to controlled chaos. In every control room, from Goldstone to Goddard, whispers replaced chatter, and screens once filled with live telemetry now displayed only the word rest reached. The signal was real. It was directional, and it was growing stronger. So normally, a discovery of this scale would set the scientific world on fire. Press releases, interviews, global headlines. But this time, nothing. No tweets, no statements, just silence. That's when word began leaking about something called the Discovery Protocol, a classified emergency framework NASA created after Oumuamua's strange flyby Years ago, it lays out exactly what to do if we ever detect evidence of extraterrestrial technology. Step one, verify the data. Step two, alert government and military contacts. Step three, observe a 72-hour communication blackout before making anything public officially. That's to prevent misinformation. Unofficially, it's to buy time. But here's the twist. Those 72 hours came and went. We're now past the five-day mark, and not a single agency, not NASA, not the European Space Agency, not China's National Space Administration has said a word. Even the International Astronomical Union, which updates discoveries almost in real time, has gone completely dark. You know, astrophysicist Avi Loeb, director of the Galileo Project, broke the silence in a post that's since gone viral among insiders. He wrote, we are witnessing institutional paralysis in the face of the extraordinary. This is not how science behaves. This is how fear behaves, you know. And maybe he's right, because when the entire world's space agencies suddenly stop talking all at once, you have to ask, what are they seeing that we're not supposed to? Stay with me, because in the next part, the story takes a turn from secrecy to something far more unsettling. 3i Atlas might not just be sending a message. It could be watching us and testing how we respond. As NASA's silence deepened, as a theoretical physicist, I stepped forward to do what scientists do best, think the unthinkable. If 3i Atlas was transmitting deliberately, then the question wasn't just what it was saying, but why, you know? He outlined three possible scenarios, each more unsettling than the last. The first, what he called the benign hypothesis, 3i Atlas could be nothing more than an ancient probe, a robotic explorer launched by a civilization long gone, quietly carrying out its programmed mission the signal might simply be a status beacon, a polite announcement that says, I see you, I acknowledge your presence. In that case, we are not under threat. We're just part of its cosmic data collection, one stop among millions. But then comes the warning hypothesis. According to this, the timing of the signal just before perihelion, the object's closest approach to the sun, might not be random. 
I speculated that the hollow interior of 3i Atlas could contain smaller units, probes designed to deploy while it passes behind the sun, the one window when we cannot see it, the message could be a notice, a calm voice in the dark saying, we're about to release something, do not interfere. No, and then there's the third scenario, the one that chills even the most rational minds, the test hypothesis, what if this entire sequence is deliberate provocation? A way to measure our behavior under pressure, to see how we react to the unknown, to study our coordination, our fear, our ability to cooperate or crumble. Because here's the uncomfortable truth. Right now, humanity's reaction hasn't been courage, it's been silence, secrecy, and panic. And if something out there is watching, that reaction is data. You know, every pulse, every beam, every quiet government meeting is being recorded, not by us, but by whatever intelligence sent this signal. You know? And as 3i Atlas nears the sun, one question echoes louder than ever. Are we the observers? Are the observed? By now, every fragment of data on 3i Atlas had become impossible to ignore. The deeper scientists has looked, the stranger it became until I finally said what no one wanted to hear. The odds that this is a natural object are vanishingly small. Eh? Let's break it down. The object doesn't behave like any comet or asteroid ever recorded. It's hollow, its internal density inconsistent with solid rock. It slowed down as it entered the solar system, something no space debris could ever do without propulsion. Its trajectory is perfectly aligned with the ecliptic plane within just a few degrees, a precision that would make even our most advanced space engineers sweat and remember the Mars flyby. The timing was so exact Scientists calculated the odds of coincidence at less than 1 in 50,000. Mm -hmm. Then there are the green spectral emissions, strange chemical signatures no known element can produce naturally. Add to that the coherent electromagnetic signal broadcast at the hydrogen frequency, pulsing with complex mathematical structure, and now narrowing into a directed beam aimed straight at Earth and suddenly every coincidence collapses. You know? Each anomaly on its own might stretch belief, but together they shatter it. The data doesn't describe a comet, it describes a machine, something engineered, something ancient, traveling across light years of interstellar space with purpose. I warn that humanity may already be experiencing first contact and that we are nowhere near ready for what that means. Because if this object is observing us, it's been doing so for months, quietly measuring, recording, adapting, and the signal we've received might not be a greeting at all. It could be an activation. Uh, so as October 29th draws closer, the day 3i Atlas disappears behind the sun, the world's greatest telescopes are being repositioned, every sensor calibrated, every antenna tuned, because once it passes beyond the solar glare, we'll lose it for three long weeks. And when it reemerges, we'll know. I know. As October 29th crept closer, a quiet tension rippled through the scientific world. The kind that hums in your bones when something enormous is about to happen. 3i Atlas was now only days away from reaching perihelion. Its closest pass to the sun and every deep space antenna on Earth was locked on its position. You know, but something strange was happening. The once strong signal had started to change. It wasn't fading. It was compressing, condensing into tighter, faster bursts, each more intricate than the last. The hydrogen frequency now carried modulated harmonics, layered tones that some describe as musical, others as mathematical poetry, no natural source could do that. It was as if the signal itself was preparing, building toward a final broadcast. Right? At NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, engineers noticed something even more disturbing. The object's velocity was decreasing just slightly as if it were applying reverse thrust. A comet approaching the sun should accelerate, not slow down, yet 3i Atlas defied gravity's pull as though it were breaking.
Now, meanwhile, telescopes in Chile, Hawaii, and Spain captured brief glimmers of light flickering along its surface, triangular patterns that rotated in unison, almost like a sequence of code being played out in real time. Some scientists compared it to a communication protocol, others to a mechanical metamorphosis. You know? And then, in a rare public appearance, I said something that sent chills through the scientific community. Right? When you have geometry, symmetry, and modulation all synchronized in deep space, you're not observing a rock, you're observing intent. Three concentric spirals, overlapping like a cosmic signature, some said it resembled a magnetic field map, others said it looked eerily like the DNA double helix, but inverted. You know, then total silence, you know. For the next 72 hours, scientists across the globe frantically analyzed the data, searching for any residual trace, but the deep space tracking systems, even the ones sensitive enough to detect Voyager beyond the heliopause, found nothing, not even dust. The trajectory that once carried 3i Atlas was now empty, right, in an emergency interview. I described it best, you know, when a natural object passes behind the sun, you can predict where it will come out, but this one, you know, didn't follow physics, it followed intention, you know, and here's the twist that no one expected. During the blackout, a new signal began, not from deep space, but from Earth's own upper atmosphere, the same pulse pattern, but reflected back toward the sun, you know. Was it an echo, a response? or proof that whatever Atlas was had already arrived? Because somewhere in the silence between our transmissions and the sun's glare, something had changed, something unseen, something waiting, you know. And in three weeks, when it re-emerges from the other side of the sun, the world will finally know what. Okay, late in November, after three long weeks of anticipation, 3 I Atlas finally reappeared from behind the sun, but what astronomers saw defied every expectation. It wasn't just continuing along its predicted trajectory. Something had changed. Its path had subtly shifted as if it had made a deliberate course correction. Right? And the signal, the one that had been silent for weeks, the world now faced a profound choice. Continue to watch in awe or attempt to communicate back. But the more unsettling realization was this. Whatever intelligence sent 3i Atlas is studying us, measuring our reactions, and perhaps testing whether humanity is ready for contact. And as the nights wore on, the message became clearer. The universe wasn't just presenting a visitor, it was issuing a challenge, a warning, a question. What will we do next? Are we prepared for the answer? Don't stop here. The universe is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered, click on the next video and join us as we explore even more astonishing mysteries from the farthest reaches of space.